So Lewis, what affects the lifetime of a battery? I think it depends on the salt bridge. Oh. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Let's try an experiment. So here we are about to enter our chemistry laboratory and I have my friend here who's a chemistry expert, Jeremy Gabiano. So uh, today we're going to be testing to see if different salt bridges will affect the life of a galvanic cell. So we're using two different salt bridges, potassium nitrate and sodium acetate. So let's go inside right now. Go. So here we are in our chemistry table, and Darian here will be explaining the variables. Okay, so the independent variables are going to be the different types of salt bridges. The dependent variable would be the amount of voltage per time. The control variables would be aluminum and uh, copper electrodes, oh the time, the voltmeter, and the spot plate. And we're going to use the same type of strings. Um, we believe that the different types of salt bridges will not affect the life of our galvanic cell. And to test this, we're going to be test, uh, measuring the voltage over time using our voltmeter. So, um, important formulas, no, or reaction formulas, is AL yields AL3 plus plus 3E minus, which is the oxidation. And um, another important uh, reduction formula is uh, Cu plus 2 plus 2E minus yields Cu. And another uh, redox reaction is 2AL plus 3Cu plus 2 yields 3Cu plus 2AL3 plus. So here we are at our chemistry laboratory and we have different materials here. We have our spot plate, uh, our copper sulfate, Our timer, our two electrodes are copper electrode, which is this brown electrode right here, and our um, aluminum electrode. We have our popsicle stick to help us with stirring. We have our uh, beakers right here. Our distilled water. <laughs> Um, our potassium nitrate right here for our um, salt bridge and alum aluminum chloride to make our uh, aluminum chloride yeah and then here is our other plastic bowls and yeah that is it and our top and our uh, voltmeter and goggles and and uh, we also need our human brain Ew, what the yeah okay so we have our copper sulfate in there right now we are creating our aluminum chloride aqueous solution so, trying to yeah, trying to. As you can see. Oh, oh, dang, that's pretty big. Okay, here's your distilled water. It's okay. Just like make sure to stir it. Okay. So now we're making our potassium nitrate um, salt bridge. So we have our potassium nitrate right here. And um, we're gonna put some distilled water in there because it's an aqueous solution. So. So now we're gonna put the salt bridge into the uh, two liquids, and we're gonna put our electrodes in there. We're connect which is connected to the voltmeter. Plus, we're timing it right now. So, well, actually, we haven't started timing. Okay, get ready. Ready. Wait, wait. Other side. It's different. Oh, dude, oh, was yeah. 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 Copper goes into copper sulfate. Aluminum goes into aluminum chloride. Okay. Ready. Go. All right. So, 
As you can see right now, the voltage is at 0.83, and um, we will watch from there in fast forward. Three, two, one. Oh. Happy New Year! All right, so now now that it's reached five minutes, or well, past five minutes, it um, its voltage changed by 0 0.03 voltage. We're gonna use 0 0.86 as our final voltage. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Trial two. All right. Start. The final voltage is 80.80. So now we're making our sodium acetate uh, solution for our salt bridge. How much do you need to add? It's just a little. Yeah, just a small. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, right. it's a big beaker, so. We can just pour a certain amount in there. We don't have to use all of it. Oh, shit. Sorry. Trial one for uh, sodium acetate salt bridge. All right. Uh, okay. Ready. Set. Go. Okay. What's the voltage? 0.85 or four. Put a 0.84. Okay, so our final voltage is 0.85. Trial two of um, sodium acetate salt bridge. Okay, ready, set, go. Initial voltage is oh, 0.85. Yeah, 0.85.
So the final voltage is 0.86. So at the beginning of this experiment, we originally planned to test the voltage, the voltage of two different galvanic cells by attaching them to light bulbs and see which light bulb would die faster. But we had a few setbacks. One being, um, one of our light bulbs were broken by the Chem K students in a different class period, and the other two light bulbs we used didn't light up because the voltage from each galvanic cell wasn't strong enough to light the light bulb up. So we had to make a few changes to our experiment. So instead of testing the voltage by attaching the cells to light bulbs. We just attached each one to a voltmeter and, and measured the voltage change over time to see which one would eventually die faster. But the prob one problem with that was we didn't have enough time for each galvanic cell to completely reach zero volts. So we just measured the voltage change over five minutes and from there we drew a conclusion on which one would die faster. So our calculations for the two trials, the first being KNO3 and the first being NAC2H3O2. Uh, for the first trial of KNO3 we found that the voltage increased by 0 0.02 and for sodium acetate it increased by 0 0.01. In the second trials, KNO3 increased by 0 0.03 and sodium acetate 0 0.01. So uh, what we did was we added uh, both trials divided by 10 minutes and we got 0 0.005 voltage for trial 1 uh, for KNO3 and 0 0.002 for sodium acetate. So we concluded that sodium acetate reaches zero faster, therefore the battery will last less time. So our question was, will a different type of salt bridge affect the lifetime of and then we thought in our hypothesis, no, it will not. And then our experiment, we tested it out with the different types of salt bridge of KNO3 and sodium acetate. And from those results, we like finally realized in our conclusion that the salt, the different type of salt bridges, it does affect the lifetime of a galvanic cell but it's so minuscule that it's negligible. And then from those results, we were able to determine that the salt bridge sodium acetate will deplete faster than KNO3.